Hello and welcome to the Quibber Channel. I'm Jason, your host. Down in the kitchen again, I'm cooking up a few bits and pieces for the doggies. When I buy things, I have to look at how they will help with my long-term situation. Everything I buy has to be part of my coping strategy, has to have multiple uses. It's like um, we're looking at the idea of getting that um, docking station for the tablet. Yes, it would have been wonderful. Yes, it would have been an amazing boost to that. But it's got such a singular use. It doesn't even have an ability to plug into a normal USB 4 so I could use it on other computers. It doesn't have Thunderbolt. It just has the proprietary connector that has always used. And that's a bad thing. No matter how much I love that piece of tech, it is a bad thing. This is my new kind of um, battery bank. It's fucking amazing. It's got 91% in at the moment. It can um, fast charge. It can fast charge itself. You can charge this up. You can pump into this almost 170 watts at once. Although you're not supposed to use it much at all at that level. But 145 watts can go in to charge it really fast to fill it up. It carries... 27,500 milliamp hours of storage in it. It's got lots of safety features. It's done by Anker. It's amazing. Cost about 80 pounds. It's Bluetooth. You can get an app so you can keep an eye on how much charge it has and so on like that. Um, this has multiple uses. I'm going to be buying a few more of these because, for example, I've got one on charge over there, the U-Green version, which is basically exactly the same as this, but a U-Green model. That's on charge over there on my um, one of my primary big anchor charge units. So that's recharging. That used up 55% of its charge running my Quest 3 for the last five and a half hours. No, six hours, actually, six hours. And while I was doing the everything from the Munchies pre-show all the way up to about 10 minutes ago. This has multiple uses. I can use it to charge my phone. I can use it to transfer power from my solar panel. My, my solar panels in the backyard are amazing. And I have a yellow cable that goes from them to inside the house. And that cable goes over here and charges my prime, one of my primary units here the anchor system here charges that fully um i've got a surplus of solar power as mum can charge that fully and then i use that to charge things like this this can go upstairs it can charge my um phone my tablets and everything it can be connected to my camera i can use it to charge my t big big tablet, gaming tablet, and it'll run it for quite a few hours, things like that. So buying more of these is a long-term multi-use situation. There will always be a use for these in the house in different ways. Um... Getting a portable monitor that runs off USB-C um, is a useful thing, not just for my tablet as a second screen, but as a primary big screen for my Steam Deck. And has a portable backup and add-on monitor to a main unit. Um, you can plug it into a phone and have it as a big screen version of the phone with the deck system and so on. So 
a portable monitor that I'm going to be buying has multiple uses over time. Any of my small systems can use it. Um, like, for example, my big gaming screen, I have a little computer connected to it in the streaming room, and I have the Minis Forum, which is a small computer connected to it, and that is added to a little system that um, runs all of my um, retro games. But it can also stream, that system can also stream. And I've only got one monitor there, so if I've got one of these portable displays, it's small enough that it'll fit on the desk next to it and I can have a dual display. And I can put OBS over onto there and my chat system over onto that little one and have the main screen for the games. What's it? Use multiple uses. I always have to think that everything I pick up has got multiple uses. Um, I am probably going to get a new headset, and the headset's going to be a 3.5 millimeter jack one, not a USB, because I want to use it with the both with the system that I'm gonna use with the tablet computer, but also also I want to use it. There's um, the Steam Deck has an a 3.5 millimeter jack out. Um, the Minis Form has a 3.5 millimeter jack. Having a headset that also has a mic built in a bare dynamic, a really good one, so it's a good studio mic with a thing you built into the headset, will mean that I can free up a USB connector on multiple devices. Um, US, um, USB is also always prime property these days. So any system that I can connect to via that, it's why I wish more phones had a 3.5 millimeter jack because I still find them extremely useful. So there's all of these things that instead of spending the, the, the money that comes back from the Pimax once the refund goes through, instead of spending it on actually just an item that would boost massively one item in the house, I have to decide instead to bring in and use it for multiple devices buying it's just the way it's got to be it's just i can't justify that kind of situation i've always got to think because i don't have much money and any money i am able to save up these days will have to be if i'm going to get something it's got to be an investment in my coping strategies in my future. Because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know whether or not um, China will invade um, Taiwan. And no matter what, if that happens, even if the West wins and we keep Ch keep Taiwan safe... It is going to massively, massively, massively increase the price of semiconductors. And something like 60 to 70% of the world's entire super advanced processors comes from Taiwan. If Taiwan does fall to China, not only will China gain a massive advantage massive advantage and um, a scary advantage it basically will be game over if they gain control of Taiwan um, the West will lose out on so much and we are years years 10 10 years away from a lot of places are bringing more stuff back to the mainland, back to America, back to UK, back to Europe, because we see the dangers. But it's going to take 10 years before we're in a position to do anything like what we can get from Taiwan. Because you can't just create, the. you have to build a factory, you have to train the people, you have to, the, the manufacturer of the actual 
equipment in those factories is so, so, it has to be, it's just crazy how good it has to be. So when anything I buy tech-wise, I have to make sure it's going to last because we don't know what's going to happen next. Um, anyway, this is Jason for the Quiver Channel. You are a splendiferous lot of people, aren't you? <laughs> awesome.